Welcome back to another episode guys. Um, this week uh, we're working on the S1. Uh, we're not doing anything crazy on it. Uh, Garage 16, Rick uh, from Garage 16, sorry, he called me. Let me know that uh, a little piece I was waiting for came in. So uh, I pretty much got a couple little pieces all together. So um, with that being said, I'm going to be uh, uh, showing you guys exactly what they are. Uh, pieces basically in the engine bay. Um, just to replace some older pieces that I didn't need and then uh, I got another thing uh, to help touch up something on the Civic I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now so um, Rick just got these uh, um, fittings that go on the the breather part of your valve cover from K motor um, so basically uh, it's a dash 10 and um, it's got these two nice little seal gaskets and then two allen key nuts on the side and uh, basically you just slide it in and tighten it up so this is going to help for the um, catch can system that Mercer and I are going to be running on the ES1 also uh, picked up a dry cartel K-tuned uh, dipstick because uh, the K-tuned one I had at the end of the season this part right here came apart inside the motor and um, I had to go get a magnet uh, to pull it out. So um, I brought it to Rick. Rick took care of that for me, uh, for us with no problems. Uh, thank you Rick at Grat 16. Um, and we also got this piece that's supposed to help the, the dipstick from popping up from uh, crankcase pressure. So I'm gonna be installing this as well. And I got this little spike from uh, uh, Downstar because I have a little piece in the engine bay uh, I don't know if you guys can see all the way in there that little stud that you see right there I'm gonna put this spike on it and so that being said that's uh, most of the, the things. Sorry, it's a little cold and trying to stay warm at the same time as I'm showing you guys these. And I got this at the local Canadian Tire. It's a dupla color uh, touch up paint. It's flat black. So I'm just gonna touch up a couple spots on the PCI side skirt on this side where you see raw aluminum, uh, just so it blends in for now and make it look all pretty. So guys, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so what you're gonna need is, oh, on mine, I used a 13. That's what it was. So you're gonna take that nut that's, oh, that nut that's from that stud right there. You're gonna take that out. And then you're gonna grab this little piece, the thing that looks like a claw from K-Tuned. And we're gonna slide it into that stud right there. I don't know if you guys can see right there. That stud. We're going to slide it in, bolt it back up, and then we're going to use a spring which connects from this little hole to the hole that's on the actual uh, K2 Jet Cartel uh, dipstick head. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, be back in a sec. Alright, guys. So I know it's got a proper name for it and everything. Uh, but I can't think of it right now and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and call it the claw so as you can see right there the claw is mounted see the hole in line with the what the dipstick is so I'm gonna pull out this nasty orange one and get the black Katun one ready uh, also before you guys install the Katun dipstick or even if you guys are using the hybrid or, or any aftermarket uh, dipstick there's oil rings on it just grab a little bit of oil on your finger, rub it around the, the, the rubbers, and just pop it in so that way you don't ruin the seal. Well, there you have it guys. That's the K-Tuned uh, Jet Cartel dipstick. It's on, so now I'm gonna get the spring, put it on, show you guys. Um, also, I don't know if you guys can see, but I already got the Downstar spike already on the, on the plaque, on the block off that Mercer did. Um, he's actually got a bunch of those in the works coming out 
for uh, the seven gens for K swap seven gens and our sexes. So back on the topic at hand, I'm gonna go get the, the spring. I'm gonna put it on. All right, I gotta say, you know, I, I was optimistic about it. It honestly doesn't look that bad. As you can see, it's got this nice tension. So um, one thing I I uh, messed up, I should have uh, told you guys. Once you have it hooked on, uh, I cracked the nut open so that way I can turn it down that way. The the claw part, tying it back up so that way it's wedged over there so that way it won't give back and pop up so it added security guys looks good um like i said i had the hybrid dipstick it looks really nice the hybrid one uh but there's a like a little flip the handle action that ha happens over here and uh it snapped twice on me so i reverted back to the k-tune one uh the, i had a blue one version one but it was so hard to read the oil. And then the version two I had, uh, like I said, it separated. Um, things happen. So, uh, like I said, Rick took care of us uh, with that. Uh, hooked us up with the Drek Cartel one. Uh, looks so much nicer. Now we're gonna move on to uh, to the fitting for here. And uh, as you can see, <sighs> sorry guys, it's just really cold out in the garage even with the heater on. Um, so, it, it's a nice little fitting. K Motorsport, uh, sorry, K Motor Performance, my mistake. Uh, it's a nice little piece, especially for guys like uh, like myself, who have like uh, authentic spoon valve cover. And I know a lot of people will be like, why waste the money? Well, you know, I'm a spoon enthusiast, so I'm not gonna wanna get that tapped and put two bongs on it for, uh, for a uh, catch can. So this, this little piece right here helps a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting that up and uh, show you in a few seconds. Okay guys, so I just ran into a little snag. I don't know if you guys can see that. So the nipple over here, in theory, this is supposed to slide right in, but I have interference with the fuel pressure regulator. Um, I just gotta unmount it, move it out of the way, and then get this bad boy in. But uh, I'm not gonna mess with that since it is going to Mercer's later on. And he's gonna do the catch can system. We'll do it then. So I'm gonna leave it at that and uh, uh, conclude this part right here. Uh, basically, it was just us putting that dipstick. Uh, I know it's nothing crazy, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, that's better. I'm gonna go ahead and um, touch up the uh, side skirt. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like now, and then. There you go, that's so much better. Uh, still getting the hang of the camera. Uh, I'm gonna show you how that looks like now and after I touch it up. So um, just bear with me. So I got little things like this to touch up uh, in flat black. So uh, I'm hoping it's gonna work well, like around here and right around there. So let's get to it. So the paint's just drying up. Um, got most of the spots. See, it's all black there now. And uh, oh, it saves me a little bit from. Uh, oh, let me zoom back out. It saves me a little bit from uh, pulling them off and power coating them at the moment. Uh, so it'll do for now. Uh, like I said, the car is gonna go into Mercer's. So I'm gonna get that uh, fitting installed, run the catch can system finally. Um, because sometimes it does make a mess when you do a pull. Uh, oil does come out sometimes. Not all the time, but for the most part. Um, so we're gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna go with the vibrant, uh, just a basic vibrant catch can. Um, do that. I feel like there's more, I'm forgetting. Um, Got some other little pieces that I gotta do. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely gonna change the alternator. Uh, get an OE one, never mind these rebuilt ones. Um, like I said, guys, just a small little uh, video. So uh, that's gonna do it for tonight. Uh, just a little video, chilling out. Oh, but before I send you guys off, uh, um, my good friend Brian Elevated uh, just started doing some uh, apparel. 
as you can see, elevated status. If you guys are interested in this, uh, hit them up on Instagram. It's uh, Brian underscore elevated. I'll uh, put it on the descriptions and I'll put it over here, uh, right there, right there. I'm gonna put it there for you guys. Uh, help him out. Uh, solid guy. He's got a crazy uh, uh, EK H22 on boost swap. Um, it, it's honestly one of the cleanest EKs uh, in the GTA. Solid guy. So um, if you guys are interested, elevated status. That's him. Uh, hit him up, and he'll uh, get uh, get back to you with uh, inquiries about his merch. So guys, that's gonna do it for tonight. Um, you guys already know, Garage 16, Mercer Built, one of you guys we play with, um, in a sense, because they're the best. And uh, that's it. Um, hopefully the next video you guys see after that is uh, us finally doing the fuel system on Nashley's Mugen EL. So for me, just send it. Peace out.